else here is toast. No worries. There's still that second grinder. It's in a band of camps set up in an old train station. It's run by some feral scabs called the Boosters. If you like, you can go over there, explain I need some spare parts, they'll be all... Oh, sure thing. Help yourself, mate. Ha! Right. I'm updating your echo now. Go kill those crook sons of taints. Shopping around for spare grinder parts. Well, get your own. This one's totes taken. Frozen. Thank you. 
Monza. No sign of Rooster Booster. He must have chickened out. Smash that thing to pieces and get the recombiner matrix out of it. Luckily, they're tough bits of tech too. Crap! It's tougher than I thought. Bingo! Just what we need to crack open that stubborn grinder. See old Bessie over there? Slot the unassembler linkage and the recombiner matrix into her. Let's see if that does the trick. Yes! Looks like she's back from the dead, but we need to make sure. These babies can, if you're lucky, spit out nice shiny equipment, but you have to know what to put in them first. Kind of like a recipe. Put in any three weapons of the same quality and you might get back a weapon of a higher quality. Sweet, eh? I've got some old ones on the table over there. Use them.
Now feed them into the grinder. Let's see what she spits out. Hope this has all been worth it. Dull grinder, ready for service. But here's a helpful tip for avoiding being squashed like a bug. Under a you are grinding bay. nothing at this rate, soldier. When you've got a stand, look up. Grind sequence initiated. Look at her grind. Sweet as. These babies come with a lot of recipes, but unfortunately there's no instruction manual. You'll just have to experiment. Though I do remember someone telling me using moonstones will ensure you always get the best possible items out of them. 